Hello everyone! If you have problem balancing your gimbal, if your gimbal does not stabilize in some circumstances, here, today I'll show you a troubleshooting process. First, definitely make sure you have fully charged your batteries. And then definitely connect your phone to this gimbal. You can update the firmware via the app or via the tools and firmware file on Jiren's official website. This will definitely bring significant improvement to your gimbal's performance. Then, if you did update your firmware, definitely go through a six-step calibration again. How to do the six-step calibration, definitely go check out the previous video. Now, this gimbal can take a lot of payload, but that doesn't mean that we really have to like cramp it up with so much stuff. The components we don't necessarily need, we should detach to get the best experience out of it. So let's start here looking at this camera package. This is a classic Cine camera package. This battery is really too big and too heavy. Also, its form factor is not well shaped in a way that's perfect for balancing your camera on this gimbal. So in this case, we could use the Jiren Transmount Power Pack to power our camera instead. This is way lighter. Or if you already own, you can use these type of FX Line Nano 1 small sized V-mount batteries. These are also very recommendable. This FX Line battery is perfect in size and also will be able to power the RED camera and also an additional professional wireless focus systems. Beside that, we can see that there's a huge gap here between the lens and the rails. It's kind of like in the air, even though it's a bit sturdy on this side, but still you want to make it as compact as possible. In this case, I will recommend to get a lens support. You will see that it actually doesn't reach the lens in this case, but there's a very easy trick. Just spin it around and do it this way. Now attach it and lock it in place. Now we can see everything is more sturdy and compact. We will now attach this camera package to our gimbal. Now we can see that there is a gap here. And it's good if we can eliminate that gap and keep it as small and condensed as possible. So let's do that. Now I want to emphasize, even with the safety locks, you should definitely always double check and make sure that your lock especially here under this quick release plate is very tightened. So another often scenario I see is wrong choice of cables. So for example, this one is actually not that flexible and it will affect a little bit the performance of this gimbal and also it might tangle up very easily in between. So in this case, we'll definitely switch it out with a very light thin HDMI cable and always on set, get some spare ones so you can change it if something breaks. This one has a length at about a meter. Cable management is also extremely important. This will affect the gimbal's performance too. First, we can see this part is sticking out a lot, so it might get in between here. So what we're gonna do, we'll tape it like this and make sure the cable does not get into this way. Now, same thing goes for here. Here we can see this is also not a beautiful area. So we will relocate this like this. And now we can have a quick look. And it won't tangle up. Now we know it's pretty much ready. Okay, now we'll go through all the balancing process that I've already shown also in the previous videos. Because our camera package is heavy, it might be hard for you to move it. In this axis, for example, lift it up from one side and it will get easier to adjust. Next one. When we unlock this lock, we should be very careful. With this one, same thing. Lift it up here a little bit to make it easier. Okay, done. Okay. Okay, we're good. Now we can see this is very well balanced. It can do all the shots and modes that we want. One important thing to note is, so for example, when you have such a big package on there, some of the modes are not the right choice for certain camera movements. And as you guys can see, this mode is not perfect for these orbiting shots. So to fix that, I'll show you guys which mode would work better. We'll go to POV mode. We'll flip it upside down.
we'll hold it up. And now we can see the camera is way more stable when we do these orbiting shots. For most DSLR combos, low or mid-low would be enough. For lighter cinema combos, we suggest setting it to medium to mid-high. For larger cinema camera combos, we suggest trying high or above. Of course, we would highly recommend you to test all options and find the one that best suits your device under different shooting scenarios. That's basically it on performance and balancing of this gimbal. And beside that, yeah, it can offer you the shot that you need, but you gotta also consider these little details and also choose the right modes for the right type of shot. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below.